Hi Libra, how are you? This is your love reading from the 18th until the 24th of March 2020. Hi, my name is Deborah, and this is my spirit room. And this is my channel Energy of Everything and we are going to call in your spirit guides into the spirit room and we're going to ask them for information and messages this week. So what happens usually at the end of the reading is we get a spiritual message from your spirit guide that will just something important that you need to be aware of or you need to know for this week. Ah, and this is the week on my channel. Guys, if it's the first time you're here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you've been here before, hi. I love to get to know you guys. Always comment below. I really know a couple of you guys already. So, yeah, I'm getting, it's like a nice community. So, um, this is the week. <clears throat> Prepare yourself that we spy on your people. <laughs> your person. Hopefully it's not people, hey Libra. But anyway, okay. So we spy on your person. <laughs> okay. And we uh, check on their energy. So we're going to look in and see um, how they are, what's going on with them. Then we're going to look at how they feel about you. Yes. And we're going to look at what kind of action they will take towards you. And then, like I said, last but not least, that spiritual message coming through from your guide. Um, it's a general read as well. So if you feel like swapping the energy around, and you feel like this is more your energy that I'm talking about, you can do that. You can swap the energy right around. It's quite fluid. So trust your intuition. Um, if you want a personal reading, check in the box below. Spirit guides, let's do this. Let's get, oh, they're dropping. Let's get two cards that represent a Libra's person's energy. And already they go. Ooh, wait, there we go. Let's have a look and see what is coming up. Wow. Wow, somebody is engrossed, engrossed um, in their work, but for a reason, because there's a three of swords, energy, OMG, so your person, I don't know who this is, right, but um, are you going to know as I'm telling you, if it's not your read as well, you can, it's fine, you can let it go and check back next week as well, but that's a three of swords, and this is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse energy. I look at this two together and it's like, this is what they say, spirit guides like, they're obsessively working. Obsessively working, focused on something else. Even crazy, even like not working. Um, like obsessively doing something that takes their mind off those three swords that are stabbed right through their heart. So this could possibly be an ex-person. I don't know what happened here. Um, I don't think this is someone new, because I mean, if someone's new coming in, they would not be obsessively working. They would be paying attention to you. So this person, um, this could be your ex. Hey Libra, just saying, this could be your ex. Could be somebody you're currently dealing with. Maybe they, there was a fight or something happened here that caused those three swords. Um, your person, by the way, with the three swords, with the three of swords being in the reverse energy, they feel as if it, this hurt was intentionally done to them. Now, like I said, remember, if this is your energy, then you can swap it around. So, you're going to take it as it comes. So, this is interesting because um, ah, they feel like they've been hurt by you. Like I said, it can possibly be you. You can swap it around as well. And I feel like they're doing something. They're either working... Or they do, you know how people sometimes can, oh, oh, cards are falling. You know how people can sometimes um, engross themselves in something else so that they don't think about feelings or their hurt or their pain. That's what this person is doing. So you can imagine sometimes um, when I get stressed and then I might go like, oh, I'm just going to get lost in a season of something on Netflix or whatever and just take my mind off the stress. That's kind of like what they're doing. Um, could even be you, by the way. I'm just picking up that vibe in this reading. Sometimes I get it like that. And then this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing. Engrossed in something else. Um, you know, even think of stuff like gaming or going excess excessively to gym and just to not feel the Three of Swords energy. Wow, Libra. Wow. I wonder what happened here. Let's see. This is going to answer a lot of questions. Let's see how it is that they are actually feeling about you. How do they view you? How do they feel about you? It's going to come out in the next. We're going to throw three, three cards on the table. And already, it's like, stop, stop, stop. Wow. Whoa. Oh, no. Ew. Can you believe this? You've got a five of cups. Oh, my goodness. And another card has fallen. 
Oh, Lord, is that, oh, this is an X. Oh, my goodness gracious me, Libra. I'm so hoping the Xs are buried in the Mercury retrograde, but apparently they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the last month's readings were so X-focused, and I was like, oh, I don't want to do any more X readings. And it's like, let me tell you, this is an X person, okay? Um, they feel, let me start with this card, first of all. You are, this is the star card. It's the center card that's going to be in the middle of this reading. And it's the whole message that's going on here. It's what is causing the three of swords. It's what is causing them to excessively have to look into something, have to work and try to focus on something else. Try to bury this. Um, yeah, okay, this reading. Ooh, Libra, what happened? Um, because there's a star card, this person, if you know this or don't know this, could possibly even be you, remember, views you... Um, as their dream come true. You are the one that they want to be with. You are, you are their dream. Um, this could even be years now. I'm just feeling that energy. This could be a long time. This could be an ex from way back that always remembers you as the one that got away. And almost like no one can replace you. Hmm. Well, of course, excuse me, you are Libra. Who can replace you? Um, they see the five of cups energy. In your energy as well they see this in you and this is a card I feel like you are the one who let them go because that is the card of sacrifice so I feel like it's it's something like strange in this reading actually Libra you're gonna tell me it's almost like this union could not be it's like this between you and this person you two couldn't be together <laughs> not I'm not sure if it was like fighting between the two of you or external interference or the timing was just wrong or, you know, I just got this as well. I have to say it. I have to say this. Or one of the two of you was actually involved with someone else at the time when you had met this person and it couldn't be. It just couldn't be. And there was the sacrifice and they, it's like you didn't choose them. You chose somebody else kind of energy there. Um, right now, they also see you as the Five of Cups energy. So they actually see as the Five of Cups. Why? Well, there's the Five of Cups. The King of Cups. Excuse me. King of Cups energy. So they actually do see you as not giving that love to them anymore. They see you as withholding that cup. And standing strong in your own power and being you. They don't, you this is the thing. You're not running after them anymore. You don't... You know, it's like if there's no contact here between you and this person, they see you are the one that's not doing the contact. They see you are the one and they are aware of that. That's actually really interesting. And um, that's what, what makes it even harder for them. That's why they can't forget you. It's like maybe before you used to be the one even to contact them when, you know, separation came out. I actually have a vibe here. Um, this is quite interesting, actually. I'm just going to say it. Um, I feel as if um, uh, this person has done something that they regret. I feel the word, you know what word comes in here? Laxadaisy. So I feel like they didn't take this connection seriously there wasn't like an unbalance of something going on here it's like you gave more to this connection than what they did they didn't put the effort the way that they were supposed to here in this connection and there's you know there is that possibility with the three of swords being up there that this person could have been giving attention to more than just you two people more than just you there could have been other people and someone else involved um like i said before i saw the three of swords there's this possibility that at the time that you guys were together even one they or you were with someone else but it could also be that they were not putting the attention into you and you were the one that was also always sacrificing for them running after them are we going to be together and they were not doing that their attentions could have been elsewhere i'm just saying there's a possibility there's a little bit of a side story there just that's coming through actions towards you oh my goodness oh goodness libra okay oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> you should know their actions towards you 
um, yeah, no, they take this quite seriously. They actually have the Three of Pentacles there. They have the Ten of Wands energy. The stress that they're feeling, you see this? They, they don't want to feel that anymore. I feel like they can't let go of you because of the star card being right slap bang in the middle of the reading. And they don't want to be here and here anymore. They want to put this down. They don't want to carry these wands anymore. They want to put down that Three of Swords energy. They want to stop carrying it. And now you need to look at this. There's a Three of Swords there and there is a Three of Cups. Ah, cups. Three. I've got cups on my brain today. What's up with these cups cards? Three of Pentacles being over here. And um, that's also something that popped out immediately. Those two threes. So there's, a, there's a, something to do with three. Um, so possibly within the next three months, even sooner, maybe three weeks, this person may actually reach out to you. They cannot carry this any longer. They are going to come in. I feel like they're going to apologize to you for something. They, it's like they're going to come in and they're going to say, I'm sorry for what I did because of the Three of Pentacles being here as well. They are going to approach you and actually come up and be like, I am sorry for what happened in the past. And I, I, they're going to ask forgiveness, actually. I don't know if you're going to give it to them. Um, they're going to come up. It's like they're going to come up and start admitting a whole bunch of things to you that you may not be aware of, or I feel like you even, this is a vibe, I feel like you've gave up on them, because you've got the, queen of, the king of cups here, and it's like you gave up on them, you walked away, you don't even think that they exist anymore, you've got to know, with the three of pentacles being here, in their mind, there is a hope within them, that there is a future between you and them, they are hoping if they reconnect with you, first of all, what they want is, it's almost like they want to, they want to have confession with you and bear their soul kind of energy. And they want to, this because they don't want to carry this anymore. They feel like they need to put it down. And they're trying to get like a forgiveness from you or an acceptance from you. But they are hoping that this step that they will take is going to lead to this, with, which is this new beginning between you and this person. OMG like Libra <laughs> like I don't know what you're gonna think when this happens because I'm yeah that's what I'm gonna ask spirit guides spirit guides for Libra what is your say on all this what do you think Libra Libra they've already said stop what do you think Libra needs to know be aware of what is what is going on what are they gonna do I'm just so like oh boy oh you got the five of swords energy <laughs> they're like well this is this has happened already this has been You've already spoken to this person. You've already had the conversation. This is something from the past. And this is... Oh, you. They want to say this is over. I almost feel like if they come in and approach you like this, you know, look at this person. They're like bowing with all their confessions, <laughs> with all their weight, their pain. They're, it's so heavy, but it looks like they're bowing and coming in like in this, this very... Um, I don't know, like this, I don't like, I'm not going to say begging, but coming in like very humbled, you know what I mean? And the energy that's over here, it's like five of swords energy, five of swords. It's like we've had this conversation already. Why are you bringing it up again? Why are you here with all this weight? Because um, I don't know what this person has done to you, you see? I don't know what they've done, but they've done something for sure. And the energy that comes through, there's a little, little thing from spirit guides. And I don't know, the decision, like, I think is going to be literally yours, Libra. How you feel your energy to be. I mean, if you feel that this person coming in is in fact like a dream come true for you. And it's what you want. You're literally going to have them be able to actually come into your life and be with you. And it's your choice, your decision. You hold the cards. I feel like you in control. You will be in control. And um, if you don't feel this person and you do not want them back in your life, Spirit Guides is giving a little bit of advice. They like do not rub salt into their wounds because you do not want to recreate a karmic cycle 
if you decide not to go back to this person they are asking you can you believe this one they are asking you to be kind oh wow libra <laughs> they're asking you just to be kind and let them accept maybe your choice to accept or not their forgiveness or give them or just give them you know freedom or whatever but do not like make it worse i think that's what they're trying to say like don't um intentionally now hurt this person maybe for the hurt that they gave you remember everything we do i think this is the point they're trying to put through is going to somehow return to us even though somebody does something to us that can hurt us it's like one of us has to be the bigger person one of us has to ha one of us has to be more emotionally evolved more spiritually evolved than the other one even if that means you know even though you know in your heart like wow this person was like narcissistic to me they were cheating on me and now they want my forgiveness I i'm gonna go take them down i'm gonna i'm gonna end their days on this earth if they can approach me and i'm gonna tell them a b and c and d and we think we are releasing this pain and this anger and getting revenge and it'll make us feel better but actually in that energy it only hurts us it only hurts us and literally we to be in that negative space it's not where we want to be we want to be in a space of peace because if you want anything to manifest in your life it comes from a place of peace not from a place of agitation and irritation so it's almost like this person coming back in is going to affect your energy in some kind of way if you don't want them and that's where spirit guides is like saying, be careful, Libra. It will, it's almost like, I feel like they're saying, you've got this equilibrium going right now. It's like you've got this, some kind of balance. There's a smoothness to your energy. And if they can come in unwantedly, it will create this disruption to your energy. So if you react in a very negative way towards them, the disruption in your energy is going to become even more disrupted. So they're trying to make it so that whatever disruption comes in you hand it in such a way that you actually help to smooth it again and not create more disruption and it's actually for your own good so when they're telling me this and um, i'm realizing they're telling me this because there's something very important in your time zone time time frame in your life right now that requires your energy to be in this smooth place not in a disrupted kind of or aura kind of like thing so that means there's a i mean you've got a star card in the middle of this entire um reading here and by the way this is the only major arcana card and it's in your energy so there's something perhaps manifesting in your life that may not even it can be another relationship it can be life purpose sort of thing that's coming up and it needs you to be in an energy that is like this and not like that so that this can come into your life that's the feeling i'm getting what they're trying to tell you so try to keep the energy and your emotions smooth throughout this encounter which either way you want to take it you want to go there to three of pentacles it's fine you also want to release it like this and let it go into the past that's fine as well wow libra wow your reading is quite intense quite deep hey so um you whatever's coming in for you there's something that they it's like they don't want to tell me what it is, it's just something's coming it's got to do with like fate like fate something in your life that is supposed to come in needs to come in and it needs to be like a clear energy for it to enter not a disruptive energy look at this look at this water around this person yeah this person's on the rocks and there's rough water no you want this energy around you you don't want this energy you want that energy so that's what they're trying to say spirit guides i don't know what you're going on about but you know you know libra will see you within the next maybe three months okay libra thank you so much for listening to me this was a very interesting meeting bye